Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the Canon CCTV. All right, guys, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. All right, guys, so today we're back with another move I know it's been a little bit, don't judge us. Anyway, guys, we're <laughs> definitely back with um, more food for you guys. Today we'll be having a uh, big bologna sandwich, thick cut bologna sandwich. Mukbang. We have a deconstructed right now. We don't. We haven't built those. But pretty much that's what we have. We got some bologna um, that's been fried up. We got some uh, scrambled eggs, and um, we got some toasted bread right here. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna get into the goodness. But um, before we do that, they're just gonna hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up. Like it. That's right, guys. Remember to hit that button and hit that bell. Yeah. If you're new here, welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the candles are moving more and more close to our goal of 25,000 subscribers. And so we'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you mm -hmm. to you all, old and new. Okay, guys, that's enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and pray. <laughs> then we're going to eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food, Lord. <clears throat> Let it be nursed to our body and bless those who are less fortunate. And in your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey guys, so yeah, it's pretty much what we have. Um, we kind of like, like I said, we haven't um already haven't made these already, so we're just gonna jump in. Got some toasty and buttered bread here. I got and, uh, two great. Breads. You know I'm slow. Today, <laughs> scoop out what you need. Yeah. <laughs> I got to be waiting on y'all, thank you. Yes, you do. So y'all want to see. I don't know how many y'all like bologna, I don't know. But uh, I love it. I love a little, little dark burn on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's there. I'm just going to be killing. So, um, your food. I haven't had a bologna sandwich in God knows how long. It's been a while since I ate one. Fried bologna or regular bologna. I haven't had it um, in a long time. Long time ago, Stace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I probably speak this probably speak a little bit. I don't think I'm about to hear. And suffer through it. Oh, slap on them by the boys on there like that. Slap on them probably on there like that. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wanna cool down some cheese on? Those eggs are still pretty warm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, get the legs, grab the legs at me. You know what I'm saying? You don't need it. I'm coming like, you know, oh, yeah, this is mm -hmm. I was trying, I kind of forgot. Hmm. Good. It's a big sandwich. <laughs> I forgot that I was making these for a sandwich because when I make my eggs for a sandwich, I tend not to break them up as much. I kind of like almost omelet style, but I kind of just kind of like kind of fold them over and I don't scramble them too hard. But I forgot. And so these are because I don't like eggs falling all that much. Sandwich, but it's good. Huh? The cheese. Um. I like a little bit of mustard on my, uh, anything that involves bacon, bologna, sausage, usually like breakfast sausage, you gotta have some mustard with it. <clears throat> Especially if it's sandwich form. Mustard is one of those things for me. It 
Mm -hmm. I saw somebody on Facebook saying that this sandwich was disgusting. And I find it odd because that person eats a lot of country things. <laughs> People like to throw that word around a lot. What? Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, let me get down. Oh, you saw my look. Mm-hmm. I got you. <laughs> Definitely not something I need to be eating every day. Oh, no. That's good though. Tell you one thing, this weekend went by fast. I always be needing just like one more. <laughs> <laughs> just one more. You ever sit sometimes and really think about how time moves and be like, what are you doing really? Right. <laughs> it's not like you're going weekend to weekend trying to enjoy your time off until you gotta go back to working and it's just like a repetitive cycle. And that's why I said Sometimes when you really think about it, it's like, you know what I'm saying? As it makes all the more sense to enjoy yourself. Mm. Because if you don't, if you get yourself worried about too much of what you got to do and everything, I was going to say, if you have money, save it, of course. But enjoy it at the same time. Mm. Ain't no need to hold it on to things so tight fisted. You know what I'm saying? If you if you, if you you struggling, you know what I'm saying? Do what you can to come out of the struggle and, and still, but still wherever you are, you got to enjoy yourself because if not, time just going to keep rolling. You know what I'm saying? Years go by, you wonder where they went. Right. And it's like, you know, if you don't enjoy yourself while you have the opportunity, I mean, who knows what time you could be wasting. Mm -hmm. I sit back now, like when I get Facebook memories, and they be saying nine and ten years mm -hmm. ago. I was like, I feel like that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. like, nine years? No, that couldn't have been nine years ago. It's crazy because we're in uh, double digit ages, going to thirty. So I feel like. This is the time where you really started getting some of the older memories and stuff like that that are crazy. Because back when we were in high school, you hear your parents talk about stuff that happened 10, 15, and 20 years ago. You're like, that's a long time. But now that you're past 20 years old, you know, now you're starting to have those old memories and it wow. don't seem like it was no time. It was like gone. Like I'm hearing old songs and having memories from them songs that, you know, probably not even my little sister know. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Bread. Hmm? Bread's good. Mm-hmm. It's all nice and buttery and toasty. <laughs> So you remember when I was uh, telling you the other day about this man on this Zoom call and mm. he was doing something special? Yeah. So I read more into it. And so, y'all, basically, I guess this is like some months ago when the, um, probably last year sometime, when the COVID started and people started um, 
have a Zoom call. So this post called the New Yorker, they were um, having a Zoom call with the boss and all the reporters. And so they decide, <laughs> they decide to, you know, the boss goes, everybody take a break, you know. If you wanna leave your cameras on, you can, or you can cut them off and, you know, do whatever. So some people still sat there which the crazy thing is that I remember seeing this video, but I thought it was a joke. Um, so some people still sat there while others just got up and walked away or whatever. So this man in the middle, in the center, over here thought his camera was off. And he gonna go, he left for a little while, but he came back with some lotion. And see, if I was sitting there, my first instinct would have been like, I know he is not about to do this because nobody goes and gets brings the lotion back. If you were going to go get the lotion, just get it in the bathroom and leave it there anyway. So he gonna open up a whole nother page and I guess he was over there, honey, playing hanky panky. Oh no. And he thought that the camera was off. Lord. But it was not. And so they suspended him, but I think you should get fired. Because you just, you couldn't wait to the meeting. I mean, how much longer was the meeting going to be? I mean, really, I mean. <laughs> how long was the meeting going to be? Like, that you couldn't wait. And, I mean, <laughs> I you know, pulled out your penis in front of your colleagues. <laughs> Which, the piece of the video I saw, you couldn't see it, but you see his arm, like, Right. Making the movement, and then he must have like muted his sound instead of actually cutting the video off because he couldn't even hear them yelling at him. Like, stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? We can see you. But if he muted his sound, then um, they wouldn't have been able to hear him. Oh, you can do it where you can't hear them either. Which I don't mean, I don't know why that's an option. Because shouldn't you be listening? <laughs> My thing was, you still at work technically. Right. If you got caught, doing, if you did that on camera, you should just, I mean, it is what it is, bro. He said, I made an embarrassingly stupid mistake believing I was off camera. I apologize to my wife, family, friends, and co-workers. I believe that was not visible on Zoom. I thought no one on the Zoom call would be able to see me. I thought I had muted the Zoom video. How do you mute a video? You mean you thought you turned your camera off? Why are you doing this on work time? I know you working from home. Some of y'all who have a had to resort to like Zoom calls as part of your um, your daily routine or your office career. Now that um, you know we've been in quarantine and you may not have gone back to work or whatever, tell us what you think. Tell us what how you would have perceived the situation and let us know how Zoom works. I've only used it a couple times at work, but you know I was sitting right there. I just didn't want to go in the other room. <laughs> just trifling of me, but oh well. Let me tell you something. As soon as I saw that lotion come out, my computer would have went like this. Because <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> what are you about to do? It would have been a slow fall because I'm still kind of nosy. <laughs> I have a little bit of nosy in me. I'm what? only too nosy when I'm not in danger. Now, if there's danger approaching, oh, I'm out of there. Well, no, I know this mug, man. Camera like, what What's Mark about to do? Some people do. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, some people do stuff like that on purpose. Like, that's what makes you question it. Is because that's some, what some of his co workers were saying. They thought he did it on purpose. Because some people don't just, um, I mean, they may not act like that every day, but some people don't just, uh, they'll turn around and do something like that out of the blue, crazy like that. <clears throat> I just think that if you were dumb enough to. You should have just waited. If you would have, you what? What you got going on the way you? What was so important <laughs> that you gotta, you gotta beat that day now. I gotta get it done now. It's right. So like, <laughs> your carelessness 
you know what I'm saying, put you out there like that. I'm, if you would have lost her job over it, I mean, oh well. Right. But that was you being careless. You, you, you got a five minute break, and this is what you decided to do. And then, and then I just, if it was me, and I just had to do this. I mean, but I'm saying even... Why a, didn't you get up and just leave? Right. Even, that's what I'm saying. Even the thoughts, even on the same computer, even if you thought you were being, um, you were being, uh, safe and that, uh, you had turned your camera off and stuff, right. you are still actively at work. Like, so while I, on the same computer, I wouldn't even attempt that. Like, no. that was just... <laughs> that is crazy. That's what I say. If, if the boss had determined to fire him, I mean... I wouldn't. I wouldn't thought that was a bad decision. I mean, I don't want anybody to lose their job, but no. um, if, like I said, it'll be understandable, bro. He, he should be so embarrassed, upset. right? He should be shamed to show his. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I apologize to my wife and kids and coworkers. Oh my God, you have a wife and you're doing this and kids because you can freely go search his name. And it comes right. up. Was the kids probably being joked at school? Oh God! About their friends. No, no, no. But speaking back on that, I don't be nosy for danger. I went to Bed Bath and Beyond the other day. And AJ was in the car, and we saw the police go in there. So he could call me on the phone talking about what the police doing in there. I said, <laughs> I am not to find out. <laughs> he every time I, I was just trying to see if you needed to come back out. Let me tell you, oh, fear not. If, there are, if I sense any kind of danger, by the time he'd have hit Danielle or whatever he has in his phone, my hand would have been on the door. That's how quick I'd have turned around. When they went in, we saw him when we pulled up. And they went in no right danger. behind her. And I called her and I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's the police doing? Like, I was like, is there somebody acting up somewhere or what? So I was just like, I'm like, if you see if somebody is, is is tripping in there, and no matter if it, if it seems like it ain't nothing or nothing, you come on out. That's what I was going to tell her. I was like, yeah, if it's somebody is tripping at least a little bit, raising raising uh, H-E double hockey sticks or whatever, you come on out. Because you don't know, you never know how people are, you know what I'm saying? You never know what kind of force the police might have to use. And bullets get to flying. I don't want her in there, but but I, like she said, I didn't have to make. Fear I, no evil. That was just that was, <laughs> that was just a follow up because I know that yeah she would she would turn around. Fear anyway. no evil. As soon as he would have hit Pima or whatever my name is in there, my hand would have been on the door <laughs> like uh, let's unlock. I'm getting in. I don't know what's going in there, but that is not my kind of carrying on. I used to have friends like that. AJ has been around me. I have I, friends that, that want to stay around and be nosy for danger. I'm not doing that. Okay? But I did tell her to ask the clerk. I said, ask me. Over here, I'm being nosy. I'm not asking that little girl. She said they went in the camera room. I said, somebody must have been stealing. Probably. <laughs> they trying to get a close up. That's, I'm not asking that girl. No, she already <laughs> up here acting sappy. I'm not asking her. Let me tell you something. I got this thing. I got pet pee for cashiers and attitudes when I ain't done nothing wrong to you because I was a cashier and I never did that. <laughs> me either. So when you catch an attitude with me, I'm 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 like I told AJ, back in the day I used to I used to try to be nice, but whatever energy you give me, I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you know I am not pleased with what you're giving me. Mm -hmm. Let me give you what you was giving me. Yes, I know that Miss Erlene came through here uh, th uh, 30 minutes ago with all her coupons that don't work. Right. And she called the manager and she got you right up saying, you don't know what you're doing. But that ain't got nothing to do with not me. Not a thing. I came through pleasant. Right. you supposed to hit reset for every customer. Because that's what you about to do. Every time we go to KFC, it'd be this nasty lady up there. And that crazy AJ gonna ask home one day, is you having a bad day? <laughs> oh my I said, God. you having a bad day or something? <laughs> and she talking about some, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't never in a good mood. I'm like, girl, every day can't be bad. Every day cannot be this bad. It just can't. It cannot. Well, you having a bad day. You ain't gonna get no attitude with me. Right. Cheer up, buttercup. I'm 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 helping <laughs> service your uh paycheck. Right. I came uh, I came through nice. <laughs> Cut 
come through the McDonald's line. Go ahead. <laughs> Can I get a hello? <laughs> How am I? No, go ahead. Go ahead out this line. And then I'm, I I can't stand when I be like, oh, can I have just a minute, please? And then they be like, um, they might say order whenever mm -hmm. you're ready, or they might not say nothing. <laughs> and then see when I come back home, whenever I've decided I'm ready, I go, okay, I'm ready. I need you to respond back and let me know that you're ready to take my order. And then I'll be I'm sitting, sitting they'll be sitting there, they don't say nothing. They be like, go ahead. I'm like, dang, like. You know, you know, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> like, why don't you respond? Like, you know, like these people be active at the drive through, but I don't know. You I, know who? I know it's rough, but I'm just like, <laughs> you agreed to do it. That's your contract. <laughs> you do provide good customer service now. That's what you agreed to do. I tell you who I ain't gonna play with them drive through people. My mama. <laughs> my mama is rough. Right <laughs> She's rough. Right She's not. I don't need to play she with her. <laughs> she is not to be played with. She stay on ready. I don't know what drive through person got her acting like that. Oh, uh, no, but, but she is like, <laughs> she will deny it. She will deny it. You can't deny it. Holy. I see her well, I'm just glad you have her. <laughs> she will deny it. Oh, I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh, okay. Okay. I told AJ, I don't know how many times I done took my chair and just went it while the way just. Just take me back, take me back, take me back, dear Lord, because I cannot. With her, she's embarrassing me. I'm gonna get out and walk. I don't know where I'm going. Pick me up at the corner, because you acting up. <laughs> Who is acting up? Oh, God. Customer service, anybody. AT&T. Did, did at and deserve that? Did the little girl that might could have been your daughter deserve that? No, well, then stop it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, y'all. Yeah. So, guys, I guess we're gonna go wrap, 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 wrap this thing on up. So, thank you guys for joining us. We really do appreciate it, guys. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you please. We really greatly appreciate it. Also, guys, uh, like this video, drop a comment down below. Let us think. Uh, let us know what you think. We'd oh, love to see you in the comment section. Guys, remember to share this video, share it with your family, friends, loved ones. Everybody, 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 everybody. Mm. It's the strangest can. Who care about us? Who care about us? Guys, we love each and every one of you. We thank you again. Everything else today? No, sir. Take us out. Bye-bye.